Today we're going to take a design that I did on the last video and we're going to improve the gengiva to make it more realistic. So in the last video we did the setup of this case. So it's two single cannons and a bridge from lateral to lateral. And today we are going to improve the gengiva to make it look realistic and also design better the, the seating area on the soft tissue. So first we will use these tools. So I'll use the anatomy tool to make the, the laterals a bit thinner on the neck because they are looking too bulky compared to the to the centrals. They are almost as bulky as the centrals, which it's looking a bit off. So I like to make them a bit narrower there to make them look a bit realistic. I also find that the cannons are a bit too smooth, so I can I will try to do a bit of surface texture to make it more similar to the rest of the of the case. So usually I like to go not very strong and we're going to play around with the brush, brush size and we use, we're use going to use the, the point of knife. So they look a bit more similar now and now we're going to focus on making the gingiva as real as we can. So first we need to bulk up the papilla here and here because this is too... Usually the gingiva, especially in this area, is as bulky as the teeth. So I'll show you how. First we're just going to increase a bit of volume around the necks. So for now we're going to leave it like this and we're going to do the the roots showing uh, the, the root volume that usually we can see. So now we're going to create a small transition part that usually can be seen on, on healthy gums and usually it's uh, an area where it's, it's very smooth, it's the marginal gingiva. Always smooth a bit because none of this is very like noticeable. It shouldn't be a harsh transition or a very deep groove. Now we're gonna do some depressions in between the teeth.
one thing that it's also usually we see in gengiva is that the gengiva is not smooth it should have like some stippling it's more like a, an orange orange peel so i like to come with a small tool and just do some dots everywhere So after doing, doing that, we do the frenum and it will make the gingiva even more realistic. So we do almost everything with the, the knife and now we build up a frenum. If you find this video helpful and if, if you've learned something today, please do subscribe and like my video. It's going to help me do more videos in the future. And also, if you want to comment in the comments down below uh, what, what you want to see next for me to, to do a video about. Something like this. Usually I like to do them a bit wavy to give them more movement. And now for the bottom part, I just try to make it flat. And that's it. This is how I do a very realistic gengiva in Exocut.